Hey folks, welcome back. I'm gonna go ahead and apologize for the wind noise. I'm gonna try to get up here beside the tractor. Or maybe it's not so windy, but anyway, uh, like I mentioned in one of the last videos, I put a card up there. Uh, we got a loose top roller here. Well, if it'll show itself, there it goes. So we fixed them to replace on that right there, because that's a problem. Let's get to it. There you go. Let's turn it out. I'm going to start by letting the tension off of this thing. Keep in mind, this is a metric adjustable wrench. Not to be confused with the standard. It's metric left-handed because it's John Deere. Pun intended. Oh, come on, man. Here, take the three quarter socket. Let that tensioner off so they can let the grease out of it. Actually, we need to clean this out right here and take a look at. Put this in here so we don't get dirt in it. I need to look at this idler. I know it's, I mean, the age on this idler, it's got to be getting close. Both of them do. I want to look at how close it is to the yoke. The distance right in here. Todd from Trucker Track, if you're watching, comment down below with the tolerance that you have right here. I always just measure and see if they're about the same. Todd probably hits it with an axe handle, which is fine. You can do that. I just, the big thing is, is I don't want my idler getting into my yoke right there. And I look myself, here I'll show you. I look here for this gap and I'll take, put my finger there like that. And then I also look here to see if the, this flange is still pretty well riding evenly there. You know, you can tell if it's set back and this bearing going out in here. But while I was right here, I wanted to look at that and see because these things are old. They should have already give up. But we're going to be taking that one right there out. I'm going to get some come-alongs and stuff set up, pull the track up out of the way, get it chained off where it's safe, and we'll get to work. <laughs> Somewhere. 
hard timey too much. Yes, I know that's the wrong socket on an air wrench. Right now, that's what I got to work with. don't like having a chisel or a punch in there under pressure. That sap sucker will come out and you'll be missing an eyeball with or without safety glasses, I do believe. She's a uh, go get this new one and get some paint off of it. Well, for argument's sake, before I broke out a grinder Ow. and a cord, cord, corn, cord, over to see if it would go in there without getting the paint off. And would you look at that? All right, let's see if we can get this punch out of here. Yep. Yep. We're all the way up. Give it a little tappy. Yep. We're up. Now a little reversal or. We'll cover something else real quick. A lot of people have all kind of interesting hobbies. See how that's turning? It's supposed to be right there, and that's a bolt hole with a broke off bolt. Now, as I was saying, a lot of people have all kind of different hobbies. John, the guy that operates this tractor for me, this is his hobby. He's really good at it, and you know they say, when you find something you're good at, just just hammer down. Uh, John has gotten really good at breaking these. I'm going to have to move you folks over here. Because I got to have that swing room right there. So with John getting really good at breaking these, I've gotten mediocre at getting them out. Why on the 
this particular one don't have a shoulder to get. We may end up having to weld a nut to that one. I don't know. I can usually get them with this. It's got a sharp enough. I know it's for wood, but it's got a sharp enough corner that I can get in there. So I'm going to have to do a little bolt trick on or nut trick on it. But let's walk around to the other side because his love and care for me this one's broke too thanks buddy in all fairness this is really rough stuff out here and see how easy that one came out the other one is just grown in place but this stuff's so rough out here what happens is they'll get something broke piece of timber or something a wedge under the edge of the track and when it does come on, it picks the top of the track up and it does this it gets it up high enough that It shears this bolt head off because this what is sticking out the furthest. I've had it happen to me. So I know how frustrating it is out here. And it's rough. It's very rough. But for Christ's sake, John. Break one of them off next time, please. Not both of them. That's ready for a new bolt. All right, so if you've never seen this, what I'm fixing to do, number one, probably catch my tractor on fire because that seems to be what I do. Number two, we're gonna take this nut, and we're gonna put it up here to this broke off bolt. Something like that, or I can get to it. Take this here a weldy rod and get, and get set. The key to this is getting set. Actually do what you're trying to do without welding everything else. So I learned this how to I won't say that this one's gonna be successful because we haven't struck an arc yet, but the fellow we used to, Matt and I used to weld with weld for he was the king at this so mike if you're watching this buddy if this goes successfully this one's for you <laughs> can't promise that it will because i'm not as good at it as old mike is all right i think that's about as good as we're going to hope for for location Can't guarantee how good that held. We're gonna let it cool. Let me go grab a end wrench and see if we can get that out of there. 
see how do this do. did learn a thing or two, buddy. Do not need air conditioner. Yeah, calm down up there, big fan. Okay, space shuttle start sequence. All right, 650. We're fixing to uh, take it and go GPS another spot, but I didn't know it was plowed. I knew that me and Clay had talked about him going over there and plowing some of it. I didn't realize that he had. So, um, I had measured everything else except for this. So we're going to take this since I don't have a side by side with me today and just walk back over there because it's so rough. Walk around it, GPS it. And uh, anyway, we're going to do it for this video. We really appreciate you guys watching. I uh, hope you enjoy it. Uh, comment down below. Let us know, you know, if you are enjoying stuff. Let us know if you're not. I ain't scared. Anyway. Um, Got a whole lot more stuff coming along. Matt uh, Matt shot some stuff yesterday, he said, and I'm looking forward to seeing it because I wasn't there. And uh, he and I have still got a pretty big project we've been working on on the side for funsies. And you'll, uh, you'll get to see it pretty soon. So anyway, if you enjoyed it, click them buttons down there and all that good stuff. And we will catch up with you fine people later on. See you around.